All right, here we are, Jeff from RV Diagnostics on the P0332 code, a GM workhorse, big old V8. Uh, I believe it's 8.1 liter. Um, so what we got now is we're on bank two. Remember the other video, I think the second video, showed you how a good one from bank one was working. I believe it was a dark blue wire. Key on engine off DC voltage was like 13.7 millivolts, 0 0.013, something like that. And now we're on bank two, which is a light blue. Bank two is on the passenger side of the engine. All right, we're going to call under there. I'm going to put you on hold. Here we go. We got it all set up for you. And we're going to do the same test. Key on engine off. Look at DC voltage. Then we're going to tap on it and get point. Four is, is the spec, um, and then we'll go from there. Now, I did fail to mention on the second video that the ohm out from 93,000 to 107,000, okay? But, here we go, we're gonna do this check, all right? There's no need to do it if the voltage is good, all right? It's a knock sensor. When it hears the engine knock, way before you do, it generates a little AC voltage. That's why we check it on AC. It's called a piezoelectric device, but that's for people that really want to, you know, step it up a little bit. Anyway, I just want to teach you how to test that. What's the motto test, I guess? Here we go. We're going under. All right, here we are. We're on, remember, there's the sump, the oil pan, the sump, the part that comes down. That's the oil lever switch indicator, how much oil you got in there. That's the knock sensor right there, that little silver can. We're on the light blue wire. We're hooked up to a voltmeter, okay? Right there, it's on DC right now. Remember the flat line with the little dots? And it's 13.8, it was 13.7 on the other side. So now, we're going to switch it over to AC voltage, right? Okay, which is down one. And it's on auto, but it's already millivolts 0 0.000 it's on the right hand side of the decimal and a little ac and what do we do you're right we knock on it okay i'll show you me knocking on it right with my big hammer here okay now we're gonna see how many volts it generates Hold on here. I'm gonna try this with a different hand because it ain't working. All right, here, here we go. Huh? There, is it a little bit better? Remember, I'm by myself up under here, banging on stuff. You gotta be careful because the starter's right there. Big old positive wire, a little spark stuff welded. There you go. Ready? There's our 400. Look at that, 500. All right, so it is working, folks. Ready? We'll do it again. I want the point six. So that's working. All right. That's working. All right. Now, we got to go back up to the computer. Whoo! We're going to hook that up, and we're going to see what's going on. If it's making it all the way up there, that's another video. We'll figure out what's wrong with her. Somebody already changed the mode. Uh, knock sensors on this side, blah, 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 you know, there you go. All right, thank you. This is Jeff from Arby Diagnostics. I'm going to get out from under this uh, W2224 chassis with a GM big old Chevrolet engine. There you go. All right, take care. What's the motto? Test not gas. What's the other famous saying? Safe travels. Till we meet again. Where are we going to meet? at the campgrounds, fueling station, on the road, I wave at everybody. I don't care if you're pulling a pop-up. Heck, if I see you with a tent or something, you know, now they got them things that go on top of Jeeps that pop up and let out. It's a big old tent. Pretty neat. All right, so once again, remember, take care.